Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I'm going to cover the new Scrapebox Learning Mode poster and the link checker. So as of version 1.16.0, Scrapebox completely redid the Learning Mode poster and the link checker. We'll talk about the link checker later on, but right now let's talk about the Learning Mode poster. So they integrated it into Fast Poster. Used to Fast Poster would post to WordPress, Movable Type. B2 Evolution and Blog Engine, so four platforms, all blogs. Now it can post to over 27 platforms as of this update, and obviously they could potentially build in more down the road, although I don't know if they will or they will not, but the potential is certainly there. However, it's already working with over 27 platforms, which is a dramatic increase. So we go to add-ons and show available add-ons after we've updated to the version 16 and we're going to install the link checker and the new learning mode poster. Now if you use the old learning mode poster you had to train it and teach it and that sort of thing. With the new learning mode poster they've taken all of the hard work out of it. They've trained all the platforms, they've done everything and it's a completely different redesign. And then as I'm going through here let me just mention one other thing. There's like I said, 27 platforms it works with, and they've redone the uh, ability to scrape, and they've also built in the platforms for the page scanner. So now you can download this platforms file under page scanner and put it in your add-ons folder, and then all of the platforms will be able to be used with the page scanner as well if you want to use them as a platform identifier. And so once we've installed those add-ons, the first thing we're going to do is go to up here and we'll notice that this completely redone with the custom footprint and platforms. So we can click the platforms button and now we see a large list of platforms that Scrapebox can scrape and it can post to all these platforms as well. So they're divided up by image comment, guest book, that sort of things. We go down we see BBS, blog, and forum. So we can tick off whichever one we want and it'll scrape for all those footprints all at once rather than only one at a time like it used to be. can also just tick off a whole thing like image comment, that sort of thing. What I've done is I've went ahead and just scraped some random keywords. I just took the keyword scraper and uh, put in some random things. You can do some pretty handy things like just put in letters or numbers or you can use asterisks um, like this with two spaces and then put in the asterisk and it'll Google will give you a word and so I just did a couple of levels deep here and scraped up some, some keywords and so I've got 924 keywords let's pick a couple platforms here let's do like pixel post and just like DD IMS for instance a guest book and an image comment now we could obviously do all of these and I have done some scrapes with all of these platforms when testing this but um, obviously that would be way too long for the purpose of this video. Another quick note is that there's a check for more platforms button here. So obviously, as I mentioned before, they can build in more platforms and you can click this and it will go out there and check to see if there are more platforms. And if there are, if they've added a new platform, even if they haven't updated to like version 16.1, they could still add a new platform. And if they do, it will automatically download the footprints here so that you can scrape for that platform and it will automatically insert that platform into the posters making the poster able to post to that platform so let's do that let's go ahead and scrape and I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust settings down here because I had it a little high I'm gonna put it on two um, and I'm just gonna use Google for the purpose of this video and I'm gonna go ahead and scrape and now obviously this is gonna take a few minutes to scrape up 924 keywords and Apparently I did not select my platforms either. So let's go back and do our platforms we said we're going to do. And then we'll scrape. And I'll go ahead and pause the video here while it does that. All right. So I stopped it just a little bit early, but it scraped the vast majority of them there. And then I removed duplicates. And um, again, these are just random keywords. You can see they don't really make a water world Denver, Colorado rides. Probably doesn't have a lot to do with guest books and... Um, pictures. But anyways, we've got 1,954 URLs here, which is more than enough for our test. So I'm going to go ahead and send them down to the blog commenter, which is going to shoot them down here. And you set this up the same way as you used to. Names, email addresses, and then you can put your websites here along with the link lock feature. And then you can do um, your comments here. And then you would do your list of blogs to post to here. And so what I did here was just go ahead and put in a scrape box fact and then just some keywords just like normal and we'll click apply. And then I'm just going to click start posting just like normal. What's going to happen is it 
filtered out one URL, pointed to audio PDF, same as always has. And then it's going to pop open the new custom poster. So we can see start and stop, pretty basic. Some data down here, such as memory usage, CPU usage, URLs in the list, success and failed, and the connections. And then we got export options for when it's done, export success and failed, and that sort of thing. But let's go to setup because this is how we set it all up. First, I'm going to choose DCapture service here as the primary capture solver, and that's because I am going to use Capture Sniper in with part of this here, and then I just set it to five retries. And then I went ahead and I have Death by Captcha set up as my secondary service set to two retries. And so double check them that they work, and then um, here is where you actually set up your capture services and then you just select them from the drop down and you get decapture, death by capture, and image typers as of right now. Capture service timeout, I just left it at 60 seconds. Use proxies from Scrapebox, 22 that it picked up there. If we uncheck it, check it, it picks them up fresh from Scrapebox. Simultaneous connections, I'm going to use 90 because I'm running this on a dedicated server. And then the do not process sites with more than X number of bytes. I think it comes with 500,000 bytes, which is 500 kilobytes or half a megabyte. Um, I think that was the default. I could be wrong. Anyways, I changed it. This is set to 75 megabytes. Again, I'm on a dedicated server with 16 cores and 12 gigs of RAM. So I can process pretty big sites. You probably don't want to go that high, especially if you're trying to conserve resources because obviously that sucks up your bandwidth and slows things down. Um, and there's not going to really be that many sites that are, you know, worth it that are going to be that big anyways. I saw some sites in the 35 megabyte range, but it's very rare that you find one that big anyways. Most of them are under 10 megabytes um, that I see, and those are even ones that, you know, can be pretty big. So pick something that works for you there. You have a blacklist and a whitelist. And so once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and start. And you can see it running through here. It's reading. You can see um, Capture Sniper going crazy over here uh, pretty fast. And then you can see as it goes through here, it has platform. It's detecting DDIMS. It's got some other URLs that we happen to scrape that were mixed in there, um, unknown on a few. And then you can see success, failed, success, failed, general, unknown. Failed, general, unknown just means that um, there was something wrong. It couldn't find the form or it just didn't get a response or that sort of thing. You'll see some other errors uh, as you go through. Failed mask match is one of them, which you see right here. What that means is that it was successfully submitted, but the blog or guestbook or BBS or forum or whatever it is came back with that it either wasn't approved or wasn't successful. It was kicked out because of spam or something like that. So a mask is what the custom poster uses to identify based off of the response from the end site how whether it was successful or failed and so this means it failed and it matched one of the known masks that was kicked back as a failure such as spam or that sort of thing so that's what that means and then failed loading captcha pretty basic the site didn't load the captcha something like that um, 404, pretty basic. Um, a lot of the errors are fairly common as you're going through here. Failed detecting form on a Joomla guestbook. The, you know, the form wasn't there uh, and that sort of thing. And then you, you obviously have success and that sort of thing. So I'm going to pause the video and let this run here. You can see before I do that though, success 432, failed 224. Just off of a scraped list that you randomly scrape, uh, that's pretty good because you can get stuff where the forms have been removed or guest books have stopped taking comments or, you know, forms don't allow the posting there, the BBS doesn't work anymore, that sort of thing. So I'm going to pause the video here. All right, so it finished here and it actually was winding down a few connections and I went ahead and stopped it. So it said success 1299, probably would have cleared just 1300 there out of 1953 and then failed 651. So in my opinion, that's really good for a just scraped list of just random keywords based off the footprints that Scrapebox included. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and export this list, and I get export marked as success, export failed, export error, and export everything that was not a success. So I'm going to go ahead and export success, and I'm going to save off the success here. And then we'll go into the link checker. So that's how the fast poster works. You can see it divides up by platform. And you can see all the status over here. And it actually goes pretty fast. This particular thing only took probably about five, six minutes. Now, granted, again, I'm on a dedicated server. But, you know, 
just under 2,000 URLs is pretty fast. It uses the new threading system and so it's faster than the old poster. So closing this out, we can go into the actual link checker here. And once we've installed the add-on again, all you have to do is to click check links. And I'm just going to hit the check links button just like normal here. And it pops open the new link checker. We have a few things that are a little different in this one. You can see the URL anchor and anchor text or the link and the anchor text like normal. This one offers a website size so you can see how big a website is. And then also status. We of course start and stop, domains only, that's all normal. And, and some status and that sort of thing. Links found and websites to check for which is one which is a scrape box. FAC website, uh, export options, links found, add to existing, that sort of thing. And then I have a config option here. You set the connections now in the link checker inside the link checker, not in the main scrape box window anymore. So I just have it set to uh, 97 connections. It's just rounded off to an even 100. Uh, and then we have an error retries. So if there's an error, it'll retry to load the page. This actually is pretty handy. Uh, I specifically requested this when they were building it because uh, this actually upped my success rate of links found. Uh, this along with the fact that this whole system is built with a new threading system and so it works faster. When the old link checker it wouldn't be uncommon for when you'd hit check links for Windows to not be able to paint the screen because it was using so many resources. Um, and because of the way it worked, and so it would seem like it would lock up. It usually finished if you left it alone, but you couldn't mess with it or see the status a lot of times while it was working. And so because it was a little slower, sometimes pages would time out or might not load, whereas with the new threading system, pages are going to load a lot faster. And so that helps success, plus I do a one time on the error retries. I've done as much as error retries up to three, um, but you know that's going to ultimately slow it down because some pages are just going to be in error and you're just continuing to reload them and reload them and reload them. So use it judiciously, but um, I find the feature works and overall the whole new link checker ups my total percent of links found on the same process as I've always used. Um, and I've tested it against external link checkers and it is better by far than the old link checker as a way of speed and links found and that sort of thing. I mean, there's not a lot more links found, but the percentage is, you know, a good 10% more found, which to me is good. So click OK here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And in fact, actually, just to show you how fast it is, and since I'm on a dedicated server, let's just run this up here to like, say, 300, and I'll show you how fast it is. And we'll hit start, and you can see as it's going through here, it's reading pages. It'll show you the size here. Um, it'll show you the anchor link here, and then anchor text. Obviously, some platforms that you post to are going to allow you to use your anchor text, and sometimes it's going to put their own in, which is what you see here. Links found so far: 111, 115. There's just climbing as we go on through here. We can see many links found, that sort of thing. And we can see some of the anchor text we use, and then some things, again, where websites will put in their own anchor text there, which is, and then some where we have it. To me, that's a good diversity because it helps build in some natural anchors and some anchors that if all the other links on this site or these types of platforms have similar anchors, then Google's going to know and the other engines that this is a natural link rather than if yours matches rather than the fact that yours is just always the same anchor text. You know, Penguin and Panda hammered that in hard uh, to diversify your anchor text. So anyways, um, it's already done, basically. We can see it's all the way to the bottom here. Um, and it's just wrapping up its connections here. And we'll have everything done here. So out of 1,953 blogs that we scraped, randomly that gives us um, 164 links maybe a few more here and I'm just gonna pause it here for a sec let it finish up and so while the video was paused there for just a few seconds while it's finished up I went ahead and also figured the percentage wound up with 166 links found out of 1953 that's about eight and a half percent links found on those particular platforms so overall we scraped a random list and posted to it and checked links and got about eight and a half percent auto approve off of a random scrape which is very high um, WordPress is about one percent to two percent uh, and other platforms other blogging platforms are you know fairly similar in that particular range so eight and a half percent is you know four or more times the percentage auto approve that it is on some of the other platforms so that's huge for me um, because I like auto approve links 
as well as in other lists I've te tested and other platforms I've seen a 10% auto approve rate or over 10%. So, and that's with just, you know, generic footprints that come with Scrapebox. If you're fairly savvy, you can get in there and do some, you know, more tweaking on footprints and, you know, dig in a little bit more and I I'm usually able to up those percentages on my list uh, even higher, but just out of the box, we get 27 platforms and that was just eight and a half percent auto approve and obviously the link checker finished a lot faster and the custom poster has a lot of nice options it integrates with um, you know captcha which a lot of people have asked for integrates with the platforms and I would venture to guess that based on the platforms here that since you can check for more platforms that Scrapebox has even more planned and even out of the box though we've got a lot to work with now so that is the new updates for the link checker and the fast poster integration of the new learning mode poster and I mentioned the uh, page scanner add-on since I said that let's just look at it real quick because it's updated too. when you download that platforms file and load it in here you get platforms.msk and when you click edit here it actually gives you all those platforms built right in so you can actually go through and then scan a list and see if it has those platforms in it, which can be handy for all sorts of different things. And that is the Scrapebox version 1.16.0 update.